let's talk calculators. I want to show you a common mistake that I see students make when they're dividing by a number that has been written in scientific or exponential notation. I'm going to show you the mistake and then show you how to correct it on several different styles of calculators. On the screen, we have a common math problem that we might do in a chemistry class. This would be like if you were converting from atoms to moles and you're dividing by Avogadro's number. I see a lot of students put this into their calculator exactly the way it's written. 1.22 times 10 to the 24th divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. When you do that, your calculator does the numerator correctly, and then it divides by 6.02 and then it multiplies by 10 to the 23rd. If you put this in incorrectly, you're gonna get 2.03 times 10 to the 46th. So you're off, your decimal is off by a huge number of places. So there's a couple of ways you can fix this. One way that will always work is you can put the entire denominator into parentheses. Then your calculator will do what you intend. It'll divide by that whole denominator and give you the correct answer. But there is a button on most calculators that is designed to make this easier for you. You have the button on the first calculator I've got. This is a sign or excuse me, a graphing calculator, very much like the one that I have here. And it has this EE function right there. Notice that the EE e e, the e e function is behind the comma. So to get to it, you actually have to hit second comma. When you put that into your calculator, it's like doing times 10 to the for you. So if I were to put this question into my calculator, I'm going to try to draw out the buttons that I would push. I would push 1.22 second comma, which is where your EE function is, and then 24th. Notice I did not push a times button. I did not push a 10 in there anywhere. That is going to put the numerator into your calculator correctly for you. And now I'm going to hit the divided by button and put the 6.02. I'm going to hit second and then the EE function again and then 23rd. When you put that into your calculator, you're going to get the correct answer. Okay, so that EE function is doing the times 10 to the part for you. Okay, let's look at it on another calculator. This is going to be the Casio um, science graphing calculator, and they don't have an EE function, but they do have this exponential button right here that does the exact same thing for you. So like you put a number in 1.22 and then you'd hit this exponential button and then you would hit the 24th and that puts it in as 1.22 times 10 to the 24th. Also, on a scientific calculator, very much like the one I have here, you have the exponential button. So you would put it in the same way. You would push 1.22 exponential 24th. Okay. And then one last, a lot of students are using their cell phones for their calculator. So I wanted to make sure that you recognize that on the iPhone, if you have unlocked your phone, you can actually rotate your phone and you get this larger series of, uh, you get a larger menu for your calculator. They actually have an EE function on the iPhone. And so you use it just like you do on that graphing calculator. You would push 1.22 EE 24th. You, I, this is tempting and this is tempting for students. You wanna avoid those. You wanna go with that capital E capital E function, and that will put the number into your calculator correctly.